Hi, my name is Carlos Rodriguez, and what I want to talk about here is how to set up a code snippet for rich text editors in Sitecore. It's a, not a difficult topic at all, uh, but I did want to spend a little time talking about it because this to me is like one of those little things that you wish you could remember when you need to have it and then you wind up doing research. So this falls into the, that category of those type of items for me. So um, what I'm going to do is the following. Uh, to show you, I'm going to go to my desktop. I'll start from there because from my desktop, I can change to either master or core right from this icon in the lower right hand corner. But for now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my content editor and I'm going to go to a particular page under events, my events section. I have an event section where things are broken up by different events. I'm going to go to a particular page where in this page I have a rich text field like this one. And what I did with this rich text field uh, editor was that I set it up so that when I clicked on show editor, let's say I want to add this text with this image again. I set up a code snippet where if I click on this and click on the code snippet, add code with text, uh, I just added it a second time. Okay? And then it could be that easy. So this could be really useful for content authors who need to insert some unique HTML, but they don't know HTML, so we provide them the need to add a code snippet to make the process that much easier. Okay, so how did I set this up? All right, well, I'm going to switch from master to core. And now I'm in the core database. If I click on my database switcher, I can see that I'm in core. I do know, oh, let me click on show database name, because then if I do that, it'll tell me I'm in the core database, and that makes it easy for me to remember which one I'm in. So I need to be in core in order to make adjustments to the toolbar you get with the rich text editors that Sitecore provides. So what I'm going to do now is go into the content editor, but I'm actually in the content editor of the core database. And the core database is the part of Sitecore that provides the user interfaces for all the different mechanisms that Sitecore provides through its tools to allow us to manipulate content and build pages amongst the many other things that Sitecore allows you to do. So for the different interfaces, including the content editor, those particular items are defined in the core database. And if you work with speak modules, those are also defined in the core database. Okay, uh, for now, what I'm going to do is just go where I would go to look at toolbars for rich text editors. So I'll click on system, followed by settings. After settings, I'm going into HTML editor profiles. After the profiles, you see this set of rich text editor toolbar settings. Uh, we have the rich text default, which is what you typically get for your rich text editor toolbar. But you do have a full, an IDE, and a medium that Sitecore loads by default. Okay? Because for each rich text editor field, in every template, you can set a different toolbar it can use. And the way that works is that if you click on the high level folder for that toolbar, you can copy the item path. Put that into the source field for the rich text editor, and then um, it will use that set of toolbar, that toolbar set, as opposed to the one that uses by default, which, which is the rich text default. And by the way, the, the default toolbar set for your rich text editors is a configuration setting in Sitecore that you can change to whatever path you would like it to point to. But for now, what I'm going to do is just use it to demonstrate how to set up a snippets. Now the first thing you got to do is set up a snippets folder. This folder was not there by default. I actually created it. So I literally right clicked on rich text editor, did an insert folder. It asked me to give it a name. I called it snippets. And when I clicked on OK, it created that folder. I'm going to go ahead and click on cancel since I already have it. That's step one. Step two is you have to populate it with a snippet. Now, where did I get this snippet item? What I actually did was I went to rich text full because why not build an existing toolbar with a toolbar that already exists? I saw that it had snippets. So what I did was make a copy of the sample snippet. So here's a sample snippet. And what I did was I went to my home toolbar, click on copy to. 
then I navigate it to my default, looked for my snippets folder, and I copied it there. So you know what? I'll go ahead and do that to enrich this example. And if I do that, there goes my second snippet. Okay? So once I have it, I would then populate it with the proper values or information. So I could leave this as sample snippet. I could, but let me call it something. Let's say hello snippet. And then what I'm going to do is just put in here a block of HTML. So I'll just put it between H1 tags. Hello, exclamation point, exclamation point, close H1 tags. Okay, just something really simple. Though typically if I'm setting up a snippet for a content author, it's something a lot more complex or it might be custom XML, with custom CSS classes or things of that nature where rather than forcing them to remember that HTML or be able to make sense of it, I'll give them a snippet so they could just add it to their rich text field. For now, I'm just going to keep it really simple. There, I'm done. And I'll just rename this item, not because it has an impact on what happens in the toolbar, but if I'm maintaining this set, I want to be able to tell what it is. So calling it something other than sample will probably help me out quite a bit. Okay. The last piece is the following. If I go back to rich text field, one of the things I got to be able to do is to add a snippet entry to the toolbar. So I opened up toolbar one and there's the insert snippet button. So rather than create it from scratch, what I did was I grabbed it, did another copy to, and copied it into my rich text default toolbar. Uh, I didn't copy it to the rich text default folder. I looked for toolbar one, which is the only toolbar in this setup, and I pasted it in there. Nope, I already have it in here, so I won't do it again, but that's literally what I did to make sure that entry would show up in the toolbar. Okay, so I'll click on cancel to not do it twice. Once I'm done with that, those are all the steps. What I could do now, is go back to my master database and let's see what we get. Okay, I'm going to go back to that same content item. Under events, home, events, climbing, climb Mount Everest. Okay, I'll go back to the exact same rich text field. So I'll click on show editor to bring up the rich text editor. Okay, I don't think I saved my last changes, which is fine. But let's say I want to put hello right above this. So I'll just hit enter to move the paragraph down. And if I click on snippet, there's my add code with text snippet I already had in there. I'll click on hello snippet. It puts hello in H1 tags in there. So for my content authors, it means I don't have to worry about um, remembering the HTML. Uh, if I'm... A content author, I can add more text, and if I do it right, it will still end up between the H1 tags, and then I'm good to go. All right, so I'll go ahead and click on Accept, and I'll save it, because I probably didn't save it last time, and let's see what this looks like on the page. Might as well give it a shot. Okay, there goes my hello there, right above the, the text and the image that I put in there before. Okay, so that's what's involved in creating a code snippet that can be used on a rich text editor to insert HTML dynamically into a rich text field to assist your content authors. Hope you found this very useful, and uh, I look forward to speaking to you guys sometime again in the near future. Take care.